things are not looking good in the U.S. economy right now. Inflation is absolutely insane. We are heading down a path of no return. You know, a lot of groups like the boomers don't care as long as they get their bag. That's all that matters. But for the rest of us, we have to begin making income for ourselves. We have to be able to create. We have to be able to create multiple streams of income. And as many of you are beginning to walk away from Western society, relationships with Western society, you need to know how to build an income rapidly if you are no longer able to make an income from what you're currently doing. We're going to talk about some of the side hustles that you can look at. Some of these side hustles, you can start off earning a minimum of $1,000 a month and then scale upwards. A lot of people do these side hustles, end up earning anywhere from tens of thousands of dollars a year, which is the bare minimum very often if you're putting some work in to easily millions of dollars a year. And you don't need to make millions of dollars a year to be comfortable, especially if you're living overseas or you're reducing your cost of living and living well below your means, then this is really, really optimal for a lot of people. Okay, so there's a lot of options out there for you to consider. We're going to go over some of those. Now, what are they? So, well, we have nine side hustles and you're going to learn how to boost your income with these side hustle ideas. And we're going to really delve into the, the side hustles and their importance. And also we're going to explore the specific side hustles that are going to help you to boost your income. Now, the definition of a side hustle is basically any type of work that's going to allow you to bring in an additional income that is not from, let's say, a traditional nine to five job. Some of these examples will be things along the lines of online services. So, for example, video editing is a skill that you can heavily monetize upon. Many of you don't understand this right now, but it is a video editor's paradise. Even like the content that I'm creating for you right now, just learning how to do very basic video editing is extremely lucrative. You can go onto YouTube. You can learn from a lot of creators. There's tons of free content that will teach you how to do basic video editing. You'd be amazed how you can, how much money you can make just doing very, very basic video editing. And you can monetize these skills on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. And that's one of the most important things for you to consider when you're when you're exploring how you're going to begin building income. Another one is graphic design. Creating logos, banners, or social media graphics can generate a ton of passive income. You might say, well, how much money am I going to make doing this? Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. Because even if it's like 20 or $30, you know, for some of you, even 10 to 15, these are for simple designs. Sometimes designs that you can make literally within seconds and there are a lot of online free software that you can use completely free and you can make these designs in moments because you have the skill sets to do these things you might say well why doesn't the other person just learn how to do this it's because you have to take time to learn how to build these skills it takes time to learn how to use video editing software and then to do all of these things like transitions and all this other stuff it takes time to learn how to make thumbnails and make decent thumbnails are the kinds of thumbnails that are that are specifically optimized for a specific kind of video. All of these things take time and you don't have to be the greatest designer in the world. In fact, you don't even have to have a lot of knowledge when it comes to designing because the software does a lot of the work for you and a lot of people do not have the time for this. All right. They would rather pay someone else to make these thumbnail designs even as simplistic as they are because their time is better focused on maybe working on the content or talking to their customers and their clients. Their time is that precious that it's that spending $30, $40, or $50 to have someone to, to outsource this work is more important to them and more valuable to them than to actually go and do this themselves. So this is, this is very, very important stuff. And once you get into like content creation, I have my my course coming out for you guys. That's going to teach you how to build a successful YouTube business. Cause that's one of the things that will actually help you to develop a lot of these skill sets. That's going to allow you to market them and then make money from them. Now we have attention based side hustles and 
with these you're going to be able to lever leverage online audiences like so for example on youtube on instagram on facebook right your social media following just like you're listening to my content right now if i put affiliate links right in my videos for like for example the laptop that i'm using right now to do my to create my content the microphone that i'm using right now to create my content if i put links to those in the description of my video and i explain to you how i create my content and why this is the best setup that i use there's a lot of you that'll say well you know that could work for me as well because i don't need to go and spend a lot of time trying to figure out what works you already know what works right and if your setup is financially feasible for me and you provide me with enough tips and guides on how to do this then that will work for me because I listen to you. I know you have the skill sets to do this because I've wa been watching your videos for a long time. So you have. The, so now with me, you have influence and base and social proof. So I'm going to listen to you. I already know what you can do, and then I'm going to take what you've done and use that to build something for myself. So affiliate marketing is very valuable like that because when you put links, for example, if I put a link to my laptop, I put a link to my microphone, I put a link to the different types of tools that I use to and for example, these are links, let's say on Amazon, affiliate links, I will earn a portion of those sales for everything that you purchase. And it's not just like the laptop, it's not just the microphone, it's not just the software, video editing software that I use. It's also other things that may pertain to the type of content that I make. That's why, for example, my courses are going to be coming and I earn for I earn whatever I sell from those courses. However, let's say you start a channel that's a passport bro channel and I have an affiliate program. I've already built my courses. I'm already selling my courses. But let's say that, you know, I tell you, well, if you I'll give you an affiliate link and if you sell my courses, if you sell my courses, for example, you put a link into the description of your video, you talk about my course and you know traveling to the philippines how to slay in the philippines and you know the course costs this amount of money so it costs you know a thousand dollars for example and you will make 35 percent of that that is you know if i get a sale that's 350 dollars. and if you're have you have your own channel that's an audience that i may not have access to so i wouldn't i would not have gotten that sale in the first place right maybe maybe not probably not but now you're promoting the content and you just made a sale for that course that course cost one thousand dollars right so now you're going to make three hundred and fifty dollars from that course and i did all of the work and you're taking and you're gaining a part of that value so by knowing the kind by understanding your niche and finding good products that allow you to make Good money from those from those products you can make money very quickly and very easily once you understand the structure there's also content curation so con so basically um, cur curating content on digital platforms like blogs which will allow you to attract followers and there are tools like buffer or hoot or hootsuite that will actually help to facilitate in this process then we have product-based side hustles. So what are those things? What are product-based side, side hustles? Well, this, these are things that involve selling physical or digital products. So things like workout plans, right? You know, how, you know, how to, uh, you know, how, how to diet, how to exercise. There's a lot of you, for example, that talk about the carnivore diet, you know, MK Fitness, MK Fitness in the Philippines. You know, well, now it's MK Gaming, but he used to make workout videos, right? And he would talk about these various things. Now, creating workout plans, right? Dieting guides, carnivore, like your diet, carnivore diet. Carn the carnivore diet is something that has worked very, very well for me, right? And I can explain how it's worked for me. I can explain the steps. I have a, my, what's my education? My education, I have two masters. So one of my one of my masters is actually in health science, all right, with a focus in health education. So taking that education, I can turn around 
and I can say, well, I'm going, and you don't have to have an education like I do, but I'm just showing you how you can leverage your skill sets. You can turn around and say, well, this diet worked for me. And I know that I've been able to lose a lot of weight and gain a lot of, build a lot of muscle using this, this workout in this specific, this, 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 this exercise diet in this specific of time, this specific time. So I can make a plan regarding this. I can talk about this in a video and then I can, and then I can put together my diet guide and I can leverage that digital product to you. And that's one thing that will, you know, drive a lot of attention because the best investment you will ever make is investing in yourself. You could also make that into something like an ebook, right? And then you can sell that on the Amazon Kindle, the Kindle marketplace. And when you sell your ebooks there, that's what's very interesting is it gives people a good bit of information about how to do something. And then it can also connect them to your other products. So for example, if you have a dieting course, you write a book, you can then direct people over to the course from the book and it can provide even more value. So even if the book, so the book might only cost 20 bucks, but then you also are even nine bucks. All right. But everyone who purchases, if you provide enough value in the ebook, then people are going to read the ebook and say, this can work for me, but I need even more. I want to understand this and this and this. And you say, well, I also have the course. And with the course, you're going to gain access to all of these additional steps that you can take. And it's going to break things down even more. And a lot of people say, well, I gained a lot of value from this and I trust what you have to say. So now I'm going to check out the course and the course in and of itself could be six hundred or seven hundred dollars. And so now think about this, a five dollar or ten dollar ebook now led over to a sale of a seven hundred dollar course. That's a massive that in and of itself, again, is a massive thing to consider. So, I mean, those are those are just some of the things you can do to really optimize and earn money and to uh, and to grow and to grow and to grow your income. OK, digital products, you know, all of these things, they are absolutely it's absolutely massive, absolutely massive. You know, these things are absolutely massive. And I'll even toss in drop shipping. Drop shipping is another thing that you can learn how to do, how to leverage drop shipping. Basically, having digital products or physical products that are you know manufactured by someone else. So there's a number of different services that you can use you, uh, through Amazon, through Alibaba, a variety of different services where you don't have the physical products yourself, and you will have someone else, another company like Amazon or through Alibaba or a variety of others where they will ship that digital product for you. And basically all you're doing is marking the product. And, you know, there's a bunch of things called like white label products that you can do as well. And you can take these products, find the market for them, and then create, create, uh, create market these products to your, to your audience. And, uh, and you can make great sales. And if you can learn how to add additional value to the product by working with the uh, by working with the manufacturer then that's that can help you to even stand out more it's all about knowing it's all about taking something something existing and adding additional value to it you know you can look at for example what nintendo did with the nintendo switch this is a t this is a term that they a concept they use very often they take older products older technology and they create new value so they combined the notion of a handheld with a console and they basically and even though it wasn't as powerful as they like you know the switch wasn't as powerful as say a playstation 4 it was powerful enough they created a hybrid console that worked very well created a lot created new value and what we call a new ocean and as a result it did very well and they've been doing that for a very long time so what do you guys i mean if you want to survive in this economy if you want to survive with everything that's happening because the dollar is going to hell. You have to know, and those nine to five jobs, luxurious nine to five jobs, they are going away. They will not be coming back. So you need to wake the hell up. What do you guys think regarding all of this? I want to know your thoughts on this because I've explained that it's not going to get any better, okay? Things are going downhill and they're going downhill quickly. And because of greedflation, it's only going to make things work worse more and more guys don't forget 
If you're enjoying the content on this channel, you want even more of this content, you can head over to the Men Walking Away channel where I post daily videos. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Let me know your thoughts on this, on these tips, these side hustles, and we'll talk more about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, Men Walking Away, and cheers.